tool miniatures, which are often small scale, accurate models of larger working tools, are a specialized area of tool collecting. Many people like them because of the very fine detail involved. Some people like them because they don't take up as much space. Here's a couple of examples. These are two examples by Paul Hamler, one of the most skilled makers of miniature tools. This is an example of the tidy patented beveling plane. The tidy plane itself is extremely rare. There's only a couple of examples known. This is uh, Paul Hamler's miniature version. As you can see, he uses completely accurate materials. It's made out of rosewood. It has ivory tips and uh, brass uh, adjusting bands to set the angle of beveling. Here's another example of one of Paul's tools. This is a Stanley pre-lateral transitional plane, probably number 33. Um, it's got the wooden sole, accurate cast iron uh, cutter holders and adjustments, knob and tote. Very finely made. And it's even got the uh, early Stanley Eagle stamp on the toe. Here's another example. This one is by Gordon Ald of Portland, Oregon. Gordon was also known for his uh, reproduction planes, both miniature and full size. This is an example of a Sandusky Tool Company ivory tipped center wheel plow in solid rosewood. It has the ivory tips, it's made of rosewood, it's got the brass adjusting wheel. Everything about it is basically a perfect miniature reproduction of the full sized model. We don't know who made this one. It's a miniature model of a uh, Miller's Patent, number 42. Um, does not have the Philister bed or the slots, so we know it's either a number 42 or a number 4. Uh, it's nickel plated, white plastic tote. Um, it's not signed, so we don't know who made it. Probably not Hamler because his examples actually used historically accurate materials, which this is not. But it's still, it's very nicely made. Very accurate uh, depiction of the original tool. Sometimes it's hard to tell whether a particular miniature is intended just as a miniature or as an actual working small size tool. These tools were all made by Bill Carter, a London plane maker who is known for his modern infill planes. Here are three examples of what could be miniature bench planes. They're made of boxwood, they're stamped box. Um, they're all very, very nicely made. They could either be miniatures or they could actually be intended as uh, model makers or instrument makers planes due to their small size. This is also one of Bill's. And this one, again, it could be uh, either intended just as a miniature display piece or it could have been intended as a working plane. It's a wood it's a boxwood, wood bodied plane. Um, Kind of too short for a uh, mulch bench planes, but it could have been used by a model maker or a toy maker or an instrument maker. These two planes are made by John Hines, uh, a master worker in brass who is also known for his hammers. These, I think, definitely push the border between a miniature plane and just a small working plane, but in any case, they're beautifully made. You can say we have brass bodies, they have dovetailed steel soles with this elaborate front knob, beautiful rosewood in this case, ebony in this case, um, infill in them, just uh, gorgeous planes. You can see he puts little touches in them like this little brass heart cast into the sole of this plane. So again, are these truly miniatures or are they just small sized working planes? You can't really tell, but they're, they're beautifully made. Finally, we'd like to mention that the Pacific Northwest Tool Collectors Association holds a biannual meet called the Best in the West, held either in Seattle or Portland. And one of the real highlights of this meet is that everyone features a miniature tool favor. They select some particular tool and reproduce it in a miniature size, and then everyone who attends the meet can purchase one of them. These are always very closely guarded secrets. Nobody knows until the Saturday night banquet exactly what the favor for that year will be. The members of the committee, the manufacturer, are all sworn to secrecy. Uh, two years ago, in 2016, it was an axe, specifically a double-bitted felling axe, very appropriate to the Northwest area. Although the, the normal 
Uh, tool favor is a fairly small thing, in which anybody who attends the meet can attend. They also do a limited number of, uh, of uh, versions of the favor in very exotic woods, exotic materials. They're often a little larger. These are also available for sale, but they are also made as awards to be people who have rendered particular services to the club. This year, we've got one of the special favors from 2016. It's a felling axe, just like the common favor that was available to anyone who attended. I got one. Um, but the head is made of sterling silver. The handle is made of yew. The box is made of locust. And it's just, it's a gorgeous piece. You can see it's engraved with the, the, the name, or has the name PNTCS, Best in the West 2016 cast into the head. So these are much more rare than the regular favors. And uh, we're very pleased to have this one available in the auction. It comes complete with a certificate of authenticity, just in case you doubted its authenticity.